Good morning, modern stutters. What some strange weather we've been having here lately. I know, I sound like a broken record. You see that sky right there? Yesterday morning when I woke up, it was 18 degrees out in rain. Switched over to snow, maybe half an hour or an hour. Then it rained all day long, and it was still below freezing most of the day. This morning it's 38 degrees out. We got a wet, sloppy mess. And tonight, it's supposed to get down to three degrees Fahrenheit. It's all gonna freeze up. <laughs> ah, it's been an interesting winter. I think that's the best way to put it. What are you girls up to this morning? Huh? You wanna come out? Huh? You didn't drink your water last night. All right. Sometimes I wonder who is worse about food, pigs or goats? These girls are crazy when it comes to feeding time. And as you can tell, our goats aren't starving. Ah. What are you doing? How's the hay? They've gone to town on this Christmas tree. <laughs> oh, Charlie Brown would not be impressed. We got one more Christmas tree coming for the goats so far. Oh, I'm sure they're gonna love it. That sunrise looks pretty wild over there. We're gonna need this this morning. I'm hoping that it's above freezing, we can get the sliding door to New York City open. And then I'm gonna spray some fluid film on it, which is a lanolin based oil. Which I wanna say, correct me if I'm wrong, lanolin is from sheep's wool. It smells like a sheep when you spray it. I'm hoping I can get the door open this morning, and then we'll lube up the track. Let's lube up the upper track first. <laughs> hey, Moose. I'm hoping we don't need the axe. Ugh. Nice. Go up as high as we can. Watch out, girly girl. And I want to lube this track up. It's wet, so it's all swelled up. Also. I also want to spray some on this door after we clean it. Because this door likes to get stuck and freeze shut too after we get warm weather and then cold weather and
I'll feed you out here this morning. Means even your moose has to come out. I know you don't look forward to the snow. I don't think Moose is a fan of this winter weather. I think he's a snowbird. I <laughs> mean, and he'd be much happier uh, to go to Florida in the winter time. <laughs> what are you guys and girls up to? <laughs> and these chickens have not been laying any eggs yet. We have a few older hens or hens that should be laying and the other ones, the barred rocks haven't started laying yet. The barred rocks should start laying soon but they might wait till springtime when we get more daylight before that kind of kicks their egg laying cycle off. And then we have four hens in there that should be laying and they're the same as the ones in New York City. So I don't know why they're not laying. I guess they could be hiding their eggs on me somewhere. But I don't know where they'd be hiding them. Breakfast time. breakfast is ready and they have, we have one extra hash brown that I guess we can all fight over. The girls didn't want me putting them on video while we were eating breakfast. They're still in their PJs. <sighs> now we gotta go plow. Gotta put it in four wheel drive. There we go. It's pretty icy guys, pretty icy. I guess it ends up getting up a lot of the snow and slush. I'll have to get it sanded after we're done.
curious to see how plowing the road does, if we can get a lot of this slop and ice off of it or not. I don't think the chickens of New York City like me uh, plowing over here, making all the noise. They all went in, ran and went inside. Not sure how much we gained out of doing that. The areas that weren't driven on plowed up nicely, but if there was even one track from a vehicle, that's frozen ice, and the plow couldn't get that out of the way. It's kind of funny. Those are from a couple of days ago. So the road, we weren't able to gain too much over there. But the driveway up here we did pretty good. It's kind of neat. You can see where, I don't know if it's the water that's been tunneling in the ground under the snow. And then when you plow it, you can still see the groove. Pluto will love it. Probably don't care, what she? Pluto, would you care? Pluto, do you care that we're making you something? No? It will match your color. It won't or will? No, it won't. Oh. Blue and pink match, doesn't it, Pluto? Mm -hmm. We're making a bandana for Pluto's collar. Cool. And she heard me. Oh no. You're not <laughs> supposed to know. You're not supposed to know about it. Better take the pins out before you try it on her. Yeah. <laughs> You like it? <clears throat> Do you 
you love it? Is it too big? Maybe we'll make a smaller one next time. It looks good. It might be winter time. We're gonna make some bacon cheeseburgers mm -hmm. and hope it'll feel a little bit more like well, summertime. We don't have any bacon, do we? Oh, you're right. It'll just be cheeseburgers. There are some big ones. We're going to be cooking up some grass-fed burgers from farmfoods.com. I'm going to leave a link in the description down below to their website. And if you use promo code LA10, you get 10% off your first order. Pluto, do you want a hamburger?
Five Guys Burgers don't have nothing on this. I think this is one of my most favorite things about cooking. Doesn't matter what it's like outside, if it's winter time and you're like, man, I'm sick of winter. You know what? Get, we can get in our kitchen, we can cook a nice cheeseburger, and then we just start thinking about summer. Oh, if you're in a bad mood, cook, go bake something in the oven, put a smile on your face when you're eating that baked good. It's one of my favorite things about cooking is you can just change it up and forget what you're doing, especially when you're eating the delicious food that you just made in the kitchen with your beautiful family. Hope you all are having an amazing day. We had a great day today. We're so thankful that you're here on our journey with us. And we'll see you guys right back here in the next video at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom.